Welcome back everybody to Helium Network channel. Today uh, it's been three days with no activity on my miner and uh, as I didn't had any activity you know I uh, said once in a video that I will uh, open the miner to see what is inside of it and uh, you know let you guys see uh, how uh, this miner looks inside uh, without uh, any other explication let's get straight to the opening ow, ow, ow. <laughs> all right enough with the cat now let's um, open the miner I have here uh, a screwdriver with <laughs> don't eat it <laughs> I have here a screwdriver with uh, a flat head I uh, unscrew these tiny tiny bolts here uh, it has uh, one two three four five six screws uh, after you take these screws off uh, you must pull from this side until you hear a click like this then on these sides you will take the screw and just do this you see it has a, um, one tiny clamp to say so on each side There we go. All right. Now we must be careful to not break any wires. Oh, these are the wires for the LEDs. Let me take this on side. Uh, we're gonna let this like this. So uh, this is it. This is the PCB board uh, with some uh, connectors here. We're going to see what kind of connectors are. Just let me take off the other screws that are here. And this is the last one. All right. Let's take it off. Hmm. Interesting. Um, I see here two USB ports. While I can, you know, if I don't open it, I can only have access to one. Hmm. I don't think it's uh, something or maybe it works just like the other one okay um, this was the Bluetooth this was the Bluetooth button and uh, by the Bluetooth button there is another button which I know for what is it um, you can uh, reboot the miner just by simply tap um, clicking on it um, I don't know why they did not make a hole. a hole or maybe another button just like the Bluetooth one to, to easily reboot your miner without um, unplugging it from the DC, you know. So uh, what did I do was uh, drill a small hole and uh, using, uh, I don't know, uh, the tip of the pen or a pencil I uh, rebooted the miner without unplugging it from here anyway they uh, on the maybe not on the last update but they did an update for the dashboard and now you can uh, reboot your miner from the dashboard anyway uh, both options are good um, this is the 
Ethernet port and this is the HDMI port that you can't have access to it. Now I'm not sure for what this uh, for what is this uh, HDMI port. Let's say in case you are uh, sending it uh, back to the warranty, maybe it's for them, you know, to check things with it. We have the USB-C port, which uh, I know for uh, what is. Uh, you can uh, power your miner through this port. So in case you, I don't know, uh, lose your... Oh, don't, don't bite it. No, don't scratch it. Without uh, this DC <laughs> cable, if you don't have a DC cable, you can uh, power your miner by this uh, USB-C port. Are you sure? I, I'm just saying what I heard. You can try, you can take... Um, mm -hmm. Let's try you. <laughs> you can take... <laughs> Maybe so, you, listen. You will burn the miner. You can take um, a cable which has USB, <laughs> USB Type-C on both sides. Plug it here, then plug it on your phone. This is what I tried with uh, both uh, the USB 2.0 um, ports. You can plug your phone here and see if the phone is charging or if it's saying that um, it's transferring data. So if it says it's transferring data, it's uh, safe. To, it's uh, better to not um, plug any chargers here. And if the phone says it's just charging, you can try to um, power your miner through this uh, port. Uh, another thing which I see is, uh, which I don't see, it's the SD card. Now, I think the memory card is soldered either under this heatsink, which is very big, under this there i think no, there is the lora no way there there is only the cpu or maybe the cpu yes i think uh, don't have a it does memory. but but it's uh, it's soldered on the board why why should be soldered on the board because, under the heatsink because um, performance reasons no it, it is more reliable to to solder on the board for faster performance than just having it on a on um you know uh, on the board yeah i don't know what to say maybe someone know well and uh, the last uh, i don't know what is this uh, it looks like a jack port you know for headphones yeah <laughs> <laughs> now it's not, it's not like what <laughs> you know it's not like you plug your headphones and you start listening music <laughs> or you start uh, uh, witnessing <laughs> anyway uh one more thing, uh, another, I don't know, it looks like you could uh, solder, or it looks like a like, uh, place for another SMA connector, but uh, there it uh, no, says GNSS, and I uh, looked up on Google on what those GNSS means, and it uh, has to do with the... Um, satellites and uh, other stuff uh. maybe in the future we will see uh, this one i mean not on our miners because mm -hmm. we already have them so mm -hmm. nobody can solder anything here but on the future miners that are uh, coming i seen links that is making uh, an outdoor miner yeah 5g yeah so uh, maybe in the future we will have another sma connector for something else who knows um <laughs> Yeah, um, you have some dust. We have some back. dust uh, on the back. Clean it. Uh, I will uh, take a small cloth, a dry cloth to wipe it. Here, there is nothing else other than plastic and the board with the LEDs. I thought that this grass is uh, just, you know, you can see through your monitors. No. Through your miner, but because it's uh, closed, it's only black. But no, nah, it's just a small piece of uh, yeah. glass. Be careful, the cat will eat your belt. <laughs> no.
Okay. Okay. All right. Let's plug it back in. You know, I said that this heatsink is very big, but it's uh, useless. In my opinion, this is useless. I uh, am checking the miner on the dashboard. Even though they made another update, and they said that they uh, fixed the CPU problem. You know, when your C uh, miner CPU went to 80 percent, even 90 percent. Without now, without doing anything. Now it's okay. Now it's okay. It's under 50. Oh, but less than. But the temperature is still high. I mean, what could this miner do that it reaches that uh, temperature, like 60 oh, degrees? Yeah, over. S let the 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 highest was 69 degrees. So that's why I had to to literally put that fan. You know, guys, you saw that fan. To cool off the miner, I mean, it's not like it um, could go more than 70 degrees, but if it goes, maybe it will uh, get in some kind of a protection, you know, and it will shut down, and I would not know why or how to bring it back on. Don't think tight. It's very tight. <laughs> put the strip. Line. Let's uh, put the this back again carefully to not break any good all right let's close it simple as that done and the other screws are in the house, I will uh, screw them back in and uh, put it back to work, of course, wipe it a little bit. Um, that's it for today. Uh, I wanted to make this, you know, just to show you guys how is it inside this miner. Uh, in the future, I will make another video uh, uh, as a final review with this miner. Uh, what kind of problems I had, what I had to do uh, in these three months and so on. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to leave a like down below there. Um, leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this miner if you have one. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, I will really appreciate this uh, and uh, turn that notification bells on. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye.